Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I have my part 2 here ready for you. I wasn't sure this was going to happen almost. <laughs> I've been very, very deep in research. Um, as a lot of you know that have watched my part 1, uh, it's been a little while. Uh, you're probably wondering, where did, where are you? <laughs> where are you, Aaron? <laughs> are you alive? <laughs> Barely. No, I'm doing really well physically and everything. I can't be... I'm just, I'm so super thankful. I'm just so well with that. So any of you, you, any of you that are concerned about that or have been, I thank you so much. I've been praying. Uh, I'm doing so much better now. Um, there's at times bouts with the sleeping and things, but I'm doing so much better. Um, I'm really on the way up. So uh, I couldn't be more thankful. So glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, I'm so thankful. So I can't wait to get back into this here. Again, my research has taken me down several rabbit trails uh rabbit holes <laughs> you can say the theme for this uh this part two rabbit holes <laughs> uh you'll find out here in a second um a little bit here what that means exactly but and i want to also thank my brother constantine with his research as well as mine together we've been working together incredibly he's from romania and he's just uh we're, we've been working together quite a bit and i've been getting a lot of things from people in chat as well um in my telegram group so I'm very thankful for that as well. So we've got a team going on here. So um, I'm I'm looking forward to kind of unveiling the, this massive research that we've put together. So um, and it really great stuff that's coming. And you know today <laughs> we're just a couple days away. So um, when I finally get this out here, so I can't wait to get to it. So let's get to it here. By the way, the Exalted Lamb won. <laughs> He did win. Um, you know, my, my my name is the Exalted Lamb with the number one, but it also means he won. So um, with the plan words and all that. So thank you. Um, here we go. Let's rock and roll this thing. So um, the Exalted Lamb won. Is, this is my also my Telegram. And if you want to sign up, there will be a link description, in the description box below. Um, and my theme, my um, motto uh, with Exalted Lamb won is having no part in worthless deeds of darkness, but instead exposing them. Ephesians 5.11, people have said many thousands of times, oh, you're just, you know, you're doing, you're doing uh, no numerology and you're doing what they're doing. All that. That's, that's silly. That's just silly. No, the Lord put in my heart about eight years ago to really expose with dreams and visions and stuff and then to expose the evil that's going on and the plans the enemies bring with these massive attacks that are coming very soon um and if you want to see the exact list um they're always um, posted to the top of, uh, pinned to the top of comments on my videos so on my part one and this part two pinned to the top of comments are the whole list of day by day the uh, the 16 day or eight plus eight or 88 miles per hour uh, so uh, that's what that means it's eight plus eight days which is the transition from the beginning of sorrows that we're in right now to going to the tribulation if you think we're in the tribulation you ain't seen nothing yet you ain't seen nothing yet the transition is going to be insane and then the tribulation is going to be even more of a notch up than that so you people have not seen anything yet really i mean people think we're in the tribulation uh, eh, wrong okay so anyway uh <laughs> Is I'm going to be a little bit, I feel kind of uh, irreverent a little bit today, maybe more than usual. So uh, please excuse me or uh, or don't, uh, either way. So um, I want to also mention it again, predictive program for you, you that don't know. It, first of all, watch my part one if you haven't. Watch my part one. You've got to see that, those details on these octad solar eclipses. And then this is going to tie into that as well in a different way. It's insane with this solar eclipse is marking out this time, things that have already happened and things that are going to happen. And so predictive programming is a subtle form of psychological conditioning woven into the fabric of all mass media designed to subconsciously program and are um, consciously acquaint the public with pre-planned societal changes, ideas, or events. These changes, ideas, or events eventually become reality, largely because the public over time has already become programmed and or familiarized with them, accepting them as natural progressions, thus eliminating virtually all possible public resistance, commotion, or investigation. So that's my definition over the years of what predictive programming truly is. Okay, so you and by by now on this subject, I I will definitely call myself an expert. 
I was for the last almost five years, and even more than that, since the Lord showed me things eight years ago with dreams and visions and things, and since then a lot of dreams, and visions, and things. Um, he's taught me what he so much of what he knows on this stuff. I mean, of course, you could teach me even more always because he knows everything. But uh, but so much of what he taught me, I know, and nobody has the, the understanding of all these things that I do like this. It's my complete niche or niche, however you want to say it. Um, because, um, you know, he's put me out there to warn as many people as possible. Now, right now, as of like last week, just so you know, according to my, all, I analyze my analytics, I analyze analytics, I analyze my analytics, and uh, I've reached over, just over one and a half million different people with my message on my YouTube channel. So I'm very, very thankful. Um, I mean, I always want more, of course. And I, again, I hope you share these these videos with people. Um, and again, uh, subscribe, like all that kind of stuff. So, um, in comments, please say anything, any all positive comments, any, any, sometimes you have questions, things like that. So again, this is the timeline. So we have the 108th and 109th day, which are 418 to 419 and they're massive. These are massive. Then another thing I could do, um, is do a video just on all the 108s in nature. I mean, and I was I was really tempted to do that, and I haven't done that, but I haven't had the time. The Lord's want me to go down this particular road and then hit some different things. Also, I'm going to hit a main theme of the of uh, solar eclipses and themes of what's going on, what went on with the uh, the Convid 1984 and the Hokey Pokey altogether. And then a move into some of the prediction program with movies and TV and things like that too, associated with this, especially 418 to 419, or the 108th day and 109th day of the year. And then we have the first attack day, which involves aliens, zombie people turning into zombies for because of the uh, hokey pokey and uh, one two three four five um, A B C D F G. Um, so that kind of stuff. And then um, this is the death of o, Stinky B.O., the 44th Prez, the Antichristos Obamos. Um, and then this is uh, uh, Trumple, still, Trumple Thinskin. I call him Trumple. I call him Trumple because he's Trumple Thinskin. He's a guy that spins hay into gold, but it's fake. It's not real. Um, and you'll find out very soon. He'll, he's going to do an announcement, a big announcement. Um, uh, it could be something big that's making relevant again. Even and by the way, he's John the Baptist, as I've said years ago and for years. He's John the Baptist, so he's now been arrested, like John the Baptist was arrested, and then he will be, um, in a sense, beheaded. <laughs> he will be um, eliminated. In and I also have said for over four years that it would be Manhattan is where his, and it just so happens that his main indictment is in Manhattan. <laughs> Okay, and I, by the way, I've predicted many things, including that, and many things, hundreds of things that have been symbolic and literal, and several literal, literal predictions over the last four and a half years on my YouTube channel, um, and that's what sets me apart from almost everybody out there that talks about what's going to come, what, you know, as far as events, rapture, all that kind of stuff, that's what separates me from most people. I actually have a lot of um, predictions and um, you know, symbol, symbols of these predictions for us hitting on exact days. For example, Trumple Day is the eighth day. It could also be the seventh day, 17th day. So one plus seven is eight. So that's the eighth day. Or on the 26th is two plus six is eight or that kind of stuff. Then there's Obama Day, which is the seventh day. And all these different groups of sevens and eights and these different days um, that I've set up for this, you know, to show these possible timelines, they've hit each day with you know, so many different crazy things. For example, when uh, Stinky B.O. Un uh, unveiled his um, presidential portraits each time, years ago when he did it the first time, and then more recently uh, with Biden as Biden time as president, um, he unveiled those. Those are all on the seventh day. Um, and so a lot of things like that. So my timeline is solid as far as one one through 16 i used to call it a 14 day timeline with a pre-day and a post day but now it's a 16 day timeline and it's or two sections of eight and trumple trumpleberry cola is going to basically kick off with his announcement on 418 the first set of eight days and then by his announcement of his demise he's going to kick off the, the second set of eight days that's why he's 88 or Tr trump is 88 and many other things so and then right here so that's cbo's demise that's trump's demise and then these are the tsunami days both on the uh, west coast from hawaii and then the east coast which will come from uh the island of La, La palma 
uh, a massive chunk of the uh, island of La Palma will slide into the ocean and go across the Atlantic and hit the west east coast. And this will be the west coast over here from Hawaii. Um, anyway, and if you know myself, again, read my timeline as well. And then last day, uh, the 3rd and 4th of May, um, nukesels in 23 cities. I'll say it that way. On the 123rd day of the year, 124th day of the year, May 3rd and May 4th. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So I want to say... Um, what the basically to begin this whole convid 1984 i'll say it that way the con the convid the convid 1984 uh because you know the government is controlling people in 1984 okay so the whole thing began with the discovery of the convid okay and that was actually technically um in china um and there's reports on about, about that that they linked that to so I'll say Sarzels, I guess, and the whole, it's it's kind of linked to that. It's called, it's got a whole name and everything like that, you know. Uh, so that was the actual first day, and that just happened to be an annular eclipse. Then, um, 355 days later, which is a complete lunar cycle, so a, a lunar month is 29 and a half approximately days. If you watch my first video, you'll see, I'll explain that. And then 12 of those, roughly about a lunar year, is 355 days. And so 355 days later, um, on the on a full eclipse, uh, not an annular, they're both full, but annular has a little bit of ring of the sun showing around. And then this is where the uh, moon completely covers the sun for the most part. Um, a full eclipse, a full lunar eclipse. Um, and that, is, that was 1214 was the first vaccinational zozos. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta be a weird code. I swear these people are complete Nazis. They've removed videos of mine with, that had hints of things about this, these details about the hokey poking, about vaccination zozos, okay, and all that. So I gotta speak in code and things and be silly, okay. And then so from there, then three three hundred fifty five days later, again, right on a full eclipse. Uh, believe it or not, on uh, uh, December third, December fourteenth, twenty twenty, and then December third, twenty twenty one. The first newborn, um, yeah, right here. The first newborn uh, hokey pokey right here. Okay, that, that boom, boom. This is crazy. And it has to do, the stuff right here I'm showing you has to do with a child, the Antichrist, and the the child that to be born into heaven, the the uh, faithful in Christ to be born. So that's why they're showing that. Then right in the midpoint of this whole thing is um, the vaccination souls. Okay, I don't want to say during pregnancy, pregnant souls. Okay. And that was that, but there wasn't a particular sign, but that's just because that's a center point. It doesn't have to necessarily. And then there's 74 days right after that. And then uh, then this is when the, um, some of these are exactly what the uh, seals, the seasals, the seasals, the diesel seasals, seasals, <laughs> the seasals, diesel seasals. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, comes out with reports or whatever. And then um, this one was showing that a majority of the populations, okay, were that, okay? So that was a huge thing, and that was exactly on this day. Bam. And then 355 days later, again, to another lunar cycle, we have, this is when the Zombos Plague begins, okay? And this is the uh, for, technically the first day. There's a pre-day of 418 and 419. I call the first day as in two days. The, the, it's a two-day process each attack day because uh, a number of reasons. There's an attack and there's a reporting day. There's also um, everything that happens. There's two days because the world has set on two days. What happens here in the West happens a day later, in a sense, in the East and all that stuff. So there's a two-day thing to everything. So 418 and 419 is technically the first day. Uh, the fifth day is the 22nd, 23rd. And, and that kind of stuff. So, um, and then this one is crazy because this is a literally, they call this a hybrid, a hybrid eclipse. And it's now coincidence, no coincidence, they call this a hybrid eclipse that it's a full full eclipse slash a, I don't even know how that works. I tried to read up on it a little bit and understand what it was saying. An annular eclipse together somehow. And then, but they're just an excuse to call it a hybrid because this day, uh, well, back here, people were start to be made hybrids. Okay, this is when people started to be made hybrids right here. Okay, and this was the midpoint of something very important too. So I'm going to tell you that. And so, and then this is when they're going to start. 
um, offing a lot of people that are extra, they, um, useless eaters, they call them, and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, there's three types of hokey pokies, and there's going to be three types of zombies. Slow, fast, and, um, well, I should say, fast and angry, um, slow and just, like, wandering, and then, uh, suicidal. Um, and that's, all these three are in movies and TV in many, in many ways, all three. The Lord told me one day that all three, um, companies that make, the three main companies that made, made these will have three different effects. Um, that's what Jesus told me. Okay, so, this is, I'm telling you, so, and, uh, the, I have a lot of things that also support that with numbers and things too, but, okay, so here we go. Then, then the last thing that this is ultimately pointing to is 355 days later, and this completely balances in, a, in an insane way. Um, the, I'm saying this is exactly the, the date of the Mark, Markles of the Beastles. Okay. Because, um, this was just, um, the Lord, Lord also told me when I, when this started coming, he said that this was, um, this is terraforming the body. And then they're going to actually put in a chip that's going to go into the, in, inside the skull and wrap around the brain. And that's a form of the neural link, uh, from, uh, Elon Musk, I mean, his whole thing, but he's going to work with a, the, him and the government and uh, Sticky B.O. is going to work with these aliens, these really, uh, you know, tall, giant alien things that they're going to say that they're going to come after, you know, all this destruction. They're going to say they took the children on the fourth or fifth day and all this stuff and everything else to take them to safety and all that. And they're, they're going to help fight the bad aliens. Um, it's all going to be a big you know, shenanigans and everything, a big lie. Um, that's the, the that's the great deception. The great deception that, that the Bible talks about is these good aliens coming and basically saying, "Hey, we see to this planet. There is really no God. We are the gods." <laughs> so instead of Jesus being the mediator between God and man, it's going to be the false Jesus or the false Christ, Stinky Bo, mediator between or Mercury, the messenger between the gods and man, man and women, men and women. Okay, so that's how this works. And there's a lot of evidence of that I've shared in the past on that. Um, as far as that's what that is. So, okay, boom. And then this whole process from here, from this date to this date, just happens to be a total of 1,566 days or 666. One plus five is six, 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 six. Okay. Because we're talking about the mark of the beast is six, six, six. And there's going to be a number of ways that that is. And I'm going to show that to you here soon. Okay. So from the time of the mark of the beast here, and then there, I showed you, just pulled off one of those 74 days in there. Because right in the middle, what they're saying is a symbolic of 74 years from a previous Passover. What was that? That is the Tetrad Blood Moon's Pass, uh, Passover Sukkot, Passover Sukkot from 1949 to 1950. This was this was actually on uh, Passover. Um, again, man's Passover, the Jewish ma man's Jewish Passover, but God's real Passover is going to be on these solar eclipses. Um, in it started it started last year um, on 420. Um, sorry, four, four, sorry, four thirty, four, uh, April thirtieth, twenty twenty-two. This is in my part one, so we got to watch that first. And then it's, um, it's really kicking off this transition, and then we're going into the all these solar eclipses, marking out the years of the tribulation. Okay, going into the, the final uh, abomination, uh, which is the last, which is Sukkot, that's on a solar eclipse. Um, and then actually, no, I talk, so, sorry, it's not that one's not actually on a solar eclipse. Um, that's the only one that's not. And then, um, that's where he's going to stop the sacrifice. You know, they they sacrifice at that point 70 bulls and other animals as well. He's going to stop the sacrifice at that point. He's going to say, I'm God and everything, and then worship me and all that stuff. And may basically say, He's the dude. So, all that. So, that's but the building up to that is this getting this first, which is on this day. And I'm sure you some of this evidence of that, okay. Okay, and then um, if you go back from there, like okay, go back from there again. This is this is next year's hidden Passover. Okay, and then we go back to this year's hidden Passover, which is in a couple of days from when I'm you know, I'm first putting this video. It might be you know um, today is the sixteenth, so I'm hoping to get up tonight. Um, and then anyway, so but if you go from the four nineteen of this year. And then back at 73 years. The reason I'm showing 74 and 73 years is because at, at this point, there's seven years left of a normal years um, before the 80 years of a generation. When Jesus said that generation, this generation shall not pass before all these things happen. And then we have another, so we have from this point up to this, up to this point, 73 years um, have, have been, have completed. So 
there's only a short amount of time. It's about 37 days from uh, it's it'd be, actually it's Passover was uh, four or four two, and then we go for, to four nineteen. So it's seventy days. So it's about twenty days. The um, the 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 um, timeline is about sixteen of them. So we have a few days left over, and then uh, the the tri tribulation starts, and then it all happens within about eighty years. It's crazy. Um, I'm telling you. So the real beginning of uh, Israel's. Um, becoming a nation and everything was when God marked it out of this Passover. Right in the middle here uh, was on January 23rd, 1950. Right in the middle was when Israel declared Jerusalem their capital. And it has to do with that. And then exactly 70 days from that was Passover right here, 1950. And God marked it out as the second Passover right here. And then this is the second Passover of the solar eclipses. The first one was, again, 420 um, oh, sorry, 430, 2022, and the second Passover, hidden Passover, is 419, 2023, and this is the second Passover, and all the previous tetrad blood moons, the second Passover, if you can take the numbers of days and stuff from there to here, and everything says 419, 418, 2023, 419, 2023, I mean, many things like that, it's crazy, like I'll show you, I showed some of that in the part one, so we're almost out of time, uh, the 80 year fig tree generation is almost over, and this is uh, a good reason, another reason why this timeline is right in, right on time. Okay, and as I showed in the last uh, video, this is my, the, the icon here, or the uh, thumbnail for the, um, I'm emphasizing here this, uh, Mr. Trumpel and his 666, because he is Mr. 666, but I mean, even though Obama's is uh, more Mr. 666, because he's the Antichrist, he is a close second with 666s, and there it is, there's a six. Six, six. Okay, right here. And then you know, I kind of made him a little bit of a kind of a devil with the these moons looking kind of by his head like horns. And he's six, six, six. Anyway, so it's from tribulation to abomination, and that's what these um, these uh, these um, solar eclipses are doing here. So, and they're marking this out, and then it goes. Then finally, then it goes into twenty twenty six, and that is the midpoint. Um, anyway, not get into that right now. I shared that with my last video. So. But here, how let me prove to you that he's Mr. 666 and 6666 in many ways. And there's even more than I'm even showing here, but I'm just going to show you a certain amount that are pretty amazing and huge. Okay, so first of all, from Hitler's birthday to his first day of inauguration is that. Okay, that's not a coincidence. No way, is it? Okay, and then from his marriage to Melania as her, her being the first lady, which is substantial and everything. Plus, at that time, he was 58 years and 223 days. 58, 2023. So that's substantial because um, the the 18th of July, sorry, the 18th of April here coming up here in a day or two um, is going to be 58 days before his birthday in 2023. <laughs> so that was when he, when this happened, he was 58 years old and 20, 223 days, 223. Um, and then so from when he married Melania to the, his, him causing, he's caused the zombie day with his, with, um, bringing in this, um, hokey pokey. Okay. Bringing the hokey pokey and with operation warp speed and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's brought in all this stuff. It's crazy. Okay. So all these hybrids like, like the eclipse are going to be, uh, you know, all kinds of things happening to these people that have taken the hokey pokey. It's where they're all hybrids. I never would ever consider that. I know what all this stuff is. It's pretty wicked. So there we go. And then we have, here's another one here um, from when he, when his, this was his last day as president to when he announced he's going to run for president again. There you go. And then again, this is just some of them. There's so many more. I'm just going to show you some here. And then this is uh Trump jr. Because he is in his name is Donald Trump Trumples. This is Jumbles Jr. here. So that's from his birth to when he got sick with the convid. With the convid here. Okay. And then that is 15,666 or 6666. Okay. I'm showing you that 666 is a big deal. Now, why is that? Because there's a main reason why the 666 and the 6666 is important. Because of this here. Well, what's going on here? This is, again, uh, if you don't know this, um, Trumple was born on a lunar eclipse. So all this is astrological stuff and everything is all part of the Kabbalist belief and the linking these things to 
um, you know, all kinds of uh, you know celestial events like eclipses and things, because they're signs and they're they're all kinds of things that mean stuff to them and their witchcraft and things like that. So, um, so the first Great American Eclipse was on 2017, August 21st, 2017, and the next one is going to be like I showed you there, 4 8 or April 8th of next year, 2024. Okay, and it's going to cross out United States, and the, right right there is uh, also. Um, the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the big, uh, fault zone there. Uh, <laughs> I can't, it just lost. I, I was talking about it earlier, uh, to somebody, um, and it, it's little Egypt right here. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. We've done stuff. I've talked about this and there was seven Salem's that went across here. Um, it's crazy because of Drew Salem, um, seven Salem's went across Salem, Oregon, and all these different Salem's went across. This is so substantial, and then this is going to basically exit the United States. It's a big sign, and it's it's also the date when when this cross becomes. It's, it's called the mark. This is literally an X in Hebrew means a mark. So this this is showing the mark of the beastles is coming at this time at this cross here. Again, I'm going to prove that even more here. So again, a Great American Eclipse. That first one that went this way. Again, it went to the 33rd parallel. It went through the 33rd state, down through the 33rd parallel. Um, all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, so right there. And then from there to this, mid. this is the midpoint of these two eclipses that make this X. Was the, this happened to be, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the Markles of the Beastles. This is the first step in the, in which is the first va vaccinationsles. Okay, you see that? Boom. And from there to there is 1,211 days. Why is that substantial as well? Well, vaccinations is 666. Can you believe it? And I've talked about this stuff for years. Okay. I sh first showed this when I first when they first talk started talking about it quite a bit. And then so then we got from the from the midpoint to the Marcos of the Beastles on 4 8 2024. Again, another 1211 days. So who was the first vaccination? Right here. This is Nurse Sandra Lindsay. There's her right here. There, this is her right here. And of course, this happens to be a black female. That's who the Antichrist is. And I've shared him a thousand times that Stinky B.O. is a clone and he is a Baphomet. He is a female and a male. He has the body of a female that's been altered to be look more like a male. He also looks like Akhenaten. If you ever looked like, if he, he is Akhenaten, basically, he's a clone of Akhenaten. He matches him 100%. Um, if you look at Akhenaten, he has bigger hips. If you look at Satchism, he has big female hips and all kinds of stuff. So um, that's why it's a you know it's a symbolic of a black female here. And then of course it's she had to be a nurse because it works perfectly for Nurse Sandra Lindsay to be. Look, one plus three is four, eight, and then sixteen plus eight is twenty four. Right there, the year twenty four. You don't have to put a two all the time. Sometimes they do stuff like that. They'll show the whole thing, but this one is four, eight. And then 16 plus 8 is 24. And then we don't include the zero this time. Okay, so boom, there, there it is. There's some more evidence of that's what they're talking about. Okay, and then again, from from there to here, on this one, we've got the 11, uh, 12, 11, 12, 11 is 2,422 days. Okay, that's this whole thing. But there's something, there's some key right here that's in these days as well. And I'm going to show you in a second. But right here, you know, the other thing that's substantial about this from going here to here, not just uh, 2,422 days, from this date right here to this day right here is six years, six months, six weeks, and six days. That's why I showed you all the things with Trumple, um, Trumpleberry Cola and, uh, you know, Trumpleberry Kool-Aid. I like to say Trumpleberry Kool-Aid and Trumpleberry Cola, uh, you know, don't drink. Do not drink the Trumpleberry Kool-Aid or the Trumpleberry Cola. It's toxic and it's it'll turn you into a hybrid. <laughs> okay. So six, 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 six. I mean, is that a coincidence? Listen, all the things I'm sharing, are these coincidence? No, these are far beyond coincidence, far more than coincidence. Okay. I mean, seriously, I mean, if you think these are coincidence, check yourself. Okay. Cause, uh, or wake up, get your head out of the sand, clear the, you know, gravel and the sand pieces out of your mouth. And just start, you know, chuck some water or something and get that cleared out. And then start thinking clearly because this, this is not a coincidence. Okay, the things I already showed you, the four sixes. I got more. More is coming with the Trumpleberry. Okay, so then, but here, here's a pattern. You see this? 12, 11, 12, 11. See, there's a reason why they show it here is there's a pattern here. Okay, and I'm going to show you this because this is the center point. And then this is this one, this one uh, date is also in the other timeline. Now, here we go again and watch. 
Um, first, I'm going to show you this. So we are not nation building again. Trump says while unveiling Afghanistan strategy. And that just happened to be he did a presidential speech on the eclipse day, that first one, the first great American eclipse, exactly on August 21st, 2017. Because he's Mr. Eclipse. He's Mr. Um, Blood Moon, uh, Lunar Eclipse, Solar Eclipse dude. Okay. That's what these people are. They're Kabbalists and all that. They believe all this stuff. It happened to have a, a presidential speech on this exact day. Okay. At the podium and flags behind him and all that. So here, check this out. We are not nation building again. So this is this article right here. And check it out. 821. 821. See that? 821. Now watch. Look down here. And then, so this is in English, and then this one is times six of English. So that happens because these are kind of come together because this is, um, you know, A equals one, B equals two, and then this is everything times six. So A equals six, B equals 12, that, and so on. Now look at this. This is 8 1, the first eclipse, and this is four. Get rid of the nine. Two plus six is eight. Four, eight. April 8th. This is August 21st, the first um, Great American Eclipse. And then um, April 2 plus 6 is 8. Also, this is also when he dies. This is when Trumpleberry dies. So it's on 426. 426 as well. That's another reason why he's connected to 48 and, and 426. Because April 26 is his death day, like I showed you on that timeline. In the purple, 25th is Sticky B.O.'s death, but it's reported on the 26th. And Trumple's is the 26th report on the 27th. And the 27th is when the stock market crashes because their um, Trumple is going to be hit, um, not mainly because of Trumple, but Trumple is going to be hit in Manhattansels, and that's going to be hit with the nukesels. That's why Sticky B.O. said, I'm more concerned about a, a nuke going off Manhattan. Nukesels going off Manhattan. Then, uh, you know, any kind of t other terrorist kind of thing, he, was, he said, because he basically said that it will go, that's what's going to happen. There's going to be nukesels go off in Manhattansels with Trumpleberry there. He's going to be in Trumpsels Tower. That's what all the predictive programming and everything shows. Um, and that's why he was arrested and got an indictment in Manhattansels. Okay, so that's why, that's why. Okay, so in that day is 426. And then the stock, I'm going to show you how the stock markets crash and prove that is going to crash in some numbers here in a little bit here too. But, okay, so again, we have this whole thing right here. It's, it just balanced perfectly with all these eclipses. It's insane. It's just amazing. And then here we go, Mark of the Beast. If we just put Mark of the Beast in Gematria, we got English in reverse. And again, I've shared before for the last year and a half, since the Lord really showed me this, you can combine the, the, the normal cipher of English with reverse and then English with reverse, and different ways they kind of coordinate, even Jewish with Jewish reduction, or even all three sometimes, or all three Jewish kind of coordinate together, and then these two coordinate, and these two coordinate, and many of the you know forward and reverse coordinate as month, day, and year together. So in this situation, we have right here, Mark of the Beast is four, 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 and four is eight, eight, one, um, plus 23 is 24. So we have 4, 8, 24. That's the day of the Mark of the Beast. There you go. Mark of the Beast, 4, 8, 24. Mark of the Beast, 4, 8, 24. And then we have 4, 4, 8, 8. And then 8 is made up of 2 plus 2 plus 4. That's just a coincidence? I don't think so. Okay. And I have and many other things I've shown and many other things I will show to prove all these things. So 4, 4. Okay. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 14 is 24, right? 24. So we got 4, 8, 24. 4, 8, 24. 4, 8, 24. And remember her name, Nurse Lindsay. Nurse, uh, whatever her name was, Lindsay, was 4, 8, 24. Remember? Okay. Sandra Lindsay. Okay. Uh, here, boom. Okay, so that's how that works. So then, okay, it's now from this this discovery here, to because we had that template, okay? We have the template of the 1211 from this date of when it first was discovered to the exact what their goal is to get rid of a lot of people and freak people out until the the, the basically people will take the mark for a lot of different reasons. Boom is 21, uh, 1211 days. That that halfway point is right shown there again. Okay, as a um, as a kind of a predictive programming thing for this time and to use as clues to put out there because they're required by God to put out clues to all these things. Um, before they happen and everything. That's just what they're required to do. But they do it all s sly and in code and everything else. And I'm here to break those codes. Okay. Boom. So that's the... And then... So um, so this is the first day that begins. So what they're going to do is on this date, 
roughly 18 going to 19 is pretty, pretty, pretty much going to happen on the 19th for the most part is they're going to start saying, hey, people are being affected by something. They could call it, I'm predicting they could call it the Tau variant. Um, it Tauzels, variantsels, I'll say it that way. Okay, so um, I don't want to say, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I got to be careful here. So um, Tauzels, variantsels. And then um, if that's not the case, then it will be something that attached to Marburgsels, Marburgsels, virusels, okay? And then um, and then there's also, there also could be news about a form of monkeysels, poxels, okay? Say it that way, monkeysels, poxels. It's hard to determine exactly where they're going to go. Uh, they have roots and all these things because these all represent somehow Stinky B.O., Obamazels, Okay. The 44th Prez, um, I call him many names, including Beelze Butthead, Lord of the Buttheads, um, and all that. Um, so it could go a lot of different ways. But they first announced this, something's going on, and there's just something big, somewhere, you know, all over. And then uh, by the 23rd, it's going to hit one just fully on. Like, you know, if you watch any of these movies like World War Z or something, that's when, you know, you're a Brad Pitt character and you're with your family. And all of a sudden people just start storming through the city and, you know, just start biting each other and all this stuff. That's when it's going to, I mean, that's the day it really starts to hit. Um, when it just starts multiplying, they're going to just hit it off different cities. Start it off by something. Um, it could be something in that uh, it's going to be ultimately turned on by the one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, F, G. Uh, but but ultimately, there's going to be a few different triggers. But anyway, so moving on here. Also, we have, so that is 423. Say, okay, so another way of saying is 23rd of April is 234, plus its reverse of 23rd of April reverse is also 666. Okay, so that's all these coordinates. Again, Stinky B.O. and Trumple are all together on this. Trumple is the John the Baptist of Stinky B.O., the false Christ that's coming. Okay, and so there he is. He's promoting the, the, all this stuff. There it is, the six. Well, now, remember, now, Trumple is from New York Souls. Remember I said Manhattan Souls and New York Souls and all that? Well, there you go. New York Souls is 666. Okay, that's not a coincidence. Not a coincidence at all that all this stuff, that we would have our main Babylon city of Babylon um, equal 666, so that is going to be destroyed um, in different ways. So it's going to, first going to get a nuxels in Manhansels, and then it's going to get a massive tsunami that destroys the rest of it for the most part. Okay, so, oh, I take that back. And then there's going to probably be a sec another another one that's going to be in the vicinity on the last day. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be done pretty much. So, okay, and then so connect him more to that number. Federal budget deficit under Trumple hits 666 billion. What a shock. And then this, is, a lot of people don't know this, um, New York Lotto, check this out, the pick four. I'm going to go back here. This was in uh, February. This goes, this goes backwards here. Go backwards. You got February of 2017. Go backwards to January 17. Backwards, backwards, ready. To January 20, 2017, the day that Trump was inaugurated. And he's from New York. And this is New York Lottery. Pick six of... Six 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 six, and that's a coincidence. Hmm, got nothing to do with that. And then here it is on the computer screen. Evening number picks from um, New York State Lottery, and again, remember the six six days, six months, six weeks, six days. Sorry, six years, six months, six weeks, six days from those uh, eclipses. So again, it's pointing to the mark on the four eight of 2024 okay look 24 <laughs> lucky sum 24 see that year 24 666 pointing to 24 i'm telling you believe it or not i have this championship course at trump west palm beach okay it's got 6666 yards from back tees are you kidding me i mean seriously do you believe that's a coincidence wow if you do you, you need a checkup from the neck up and then um, this was an actual bill that was in process. It, it, I don't think it ever happened, actually happened. HR six 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 six. Okay, but um, there was hubbub from different groups that Trump had did something with this. Well, then you of course have the all the uh, like you know the different um, Snopes and different ones to say, oh hey, well, let's correct the record. 
actually at this stage, Trump has not yet canceled HR six 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 and has not publicly commented or expressed a desire to veto the bill. So it's it's fake news, people. Fake news. And whether that's true or not, which doesn't look like it looks like they're, they're actually saying the truth. The fact is, they they by what they're saying, they they made it fake news because they linked him to this by even saying that they gave it more substantiation and they made it true. So so Trump equal now Trump equals that because that's in, that they're saying it. Millions of people have seen it. Now Trump equals that. See, I'm saying how this works. It's all about public perception and what they how many times they see this with this. Because the the you know the the truth is that it's saying that it's six hundred sixty six days. And literally, he had a speech on the first day, and then six hundred sixty six days later, he's going to be causing that. It's going to be part of what causes people to get the mark in some way, by the hokey pokey and all that stuff. So it's crazy. And then here's a house, and that is Ivanka Trump is moving into D.C. and her new house looks amazing, amazing. Okay, <laughs> the couple's kids will definitely have space play around in this 6,666 square foot mansion. What? <coughs> wow. Please. Really? I mean, seriously, if that even true, I doubt it's even completely true. I bet it's mainly made up. I mean, it could be right, right, right around there, but that it was actually be that much. I mean, you never know. It could be exactly right. And that's how sick these people are. But whatever, you, you, we don't know until we go in there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we have this. He had a he had a interview. Okay, from from so this is the first day when he's going to announce here. First day of this timeline four eighteen, and if you take off six year minus six years six months six hundred sixty six weeks and six thousand six hundred sixty six days, plus one more minus six days, you get ten six nineteen eighty. He did an interview with Rona Barrett. Okay, and this this section that I that I got wasn't aired, I guess, back in 1988. Okay, uh, they get 80, 88, yeah, 80. Look how young this nigga was. Okay, Trumpleberry Cola. Okay, um, tr anyway, so that look at that. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, look at that again. Okay, wow, look at all that stuff here. Okay, there's even more going on here. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, I hope you got this. Hope you got the joke. They love doing this all the time. The demons and the people. Rona Barrett. Bear the Rona. Can you bear the Rona? You know, Rona Barrett. Again, that's slang for the actual convid. The coronazles. Coronazles. The Ronazles. The Rona. Bear it. Bear it. Bear the Rona. You know, you're gonna you're gonna Rona bear it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously, do you get it now? Do you hopefully you get what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it as clear as I can. But Rona, Rona, the people have literally said for short, call it the Rona. I mean, the car, the core, and then the Rona. Core, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's like in your face that people realize they do this stuff all the time with so many things. So anyway, she interviews this young buck. And he is 34. It says age 34. There's a reason for that. For another. So, for example, so from his birth to that day, he was 34 years and 3 months and 22 days. 34, 3, 2, 2. <laughs> Skull and bones, baby. And even more than that, it's 34, 34, which is Zombos. Again, 423, which he's stuck to in so many ways and programmed to in so many ways. Um, because that's when what the, the hokey pokey is going to turn into people turning into zombies, um, is 34 and 34 is 34 several times actually. Okay. So, but, wow, it's crazy. And then here he is talking to her. And then of course, this is all Dramatria things that they're saying, you know, you are overlooking Central Park and all that kind of stuff. And so the overlooking 666 New York souls. Okay. And so Rona is four, eight. Again, remember. Remember this. Remember eight. Remember four eight of. Remember um, again uh, April eighth, twenty twenty four. Okay. Plus it also is Sticky Bill's birthday, which is fourth of August, and that's what it means. His birth, but then his birth four eight. Also the birth of the Mark of the Beast, as well as April fourth, as well. And this is watch four four. Eighteen plus one is nineteen. One plus one is two. And then five is made up of two and three. So it's 4-19-2023. 20, 
Are you kidding me? So we got birth and birth of Sinky B.O. First day and his first day of his birth. Apparently. Supposedly, right? Now, and then her last name is 84. Or August 8th backwards. or I'm sorry. Or April 8th backwards. Or August 4th forward. It doesn't matter. And again, the same thing. Watch. We won't count the zeros. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay. We just want to cross out this 18 because anything you add 9 to stays the same. So you can cross out cross out all extra 9s. So that's an extra 9. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Cross that out. We have 1 plus 18 is 19. 2 is 2. And 5 is secretly made of 2 and 3. Okay. We know it's not secretly made of it normally, but it's but in there secretly showing that. Okay. So we both of these are 4. They just happen to be not even one digit off. They're 4, 19, 20, 23, both of them. And they're both 8, 4 or 4, 8 backwards. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then her full name in reverse ordinal equals 165. Now, remember I said Stinky B.O.'s birth? What is that? That is Trumpel's birth. How is that Trumpel's birth? Trumpel was born on June 14th. June 14th is the 165th day of the year. And she has to be interview and she happens to be interviewing him. Her name in reverse order means what is 165. That's his birthday. Please. That's all coincidence. No, not even close. Womp womp. Okay, here. Now, um, again, this is what it's actually called. Uh, that little thing I showed you earlier. The Ronald Barrett interview, Donald Trump, four two eight. So again, four two plus eight is ten or four one nine. It could be two or you could take one away from that and add it to that. That's what they do all the time. So Two four two eight is the same as four one nine. Okay, and then we have thirty four letters and uh, six six words. Remember, I said he was um, thirty four, and then another way of showing his age there, the one I showed you earlier was it's thirty four years, three months, and three weeks, which thirty four six or thirty four letters and six words. Okay, and these are just little things that are connected, but there's a lot connected to all this stuff. It's really insane. That's how they do this stuff. So the first thing she asks him in this little interview, little section of this interview is, do you think wealth corrupts? And that is 116. That's the day he's going to die, April 26th, the 116th day of the year. And he says, certainly could, certainly can corrupt, certainly can corrupt. And then that is literally the exact days from the discovery of uh, the convid 1984 to the actual... Um, uh, to the uh, the Marcus's of the Beasles, 1,566 days. That's just a coincidence? I don't think so. Not even close. Okay, it's directly tied to him. And then she says, there are two things in life, love and work. And so again, we got four. So we have 410, which can be four. Uh, 10 is made up of one and nine. So it's, 410 can be 119. Um, and then, or 410 plus five and eight is that's 13 plus 10 is 23, 4, 23. Again, that's the Zombles Day. And then he's also, remember, he dies on 4, 2, 6. Or we also have 4, 8. 4, 2 plus 6 is 8, which is April 8th, which is 2024. The Mark of the Beast Day. Okay. But also, 58 is him because, like I said, from April, the first day here um, of the timeline to his birthday is 58 days. He's Mr. 58. I've shared that so many times. I have over 60-some different ways he's Mr. 58. He had the 58th inauguration of a president, uh, Trumple Towers, 58 stories high. Um, I mean, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Again, he married uh, Melania when he was 58. Um, there's just there's tons of stuff, uh, and just tons of stuff with him being Mr. 58. And then this really ties in from the, this first day when he's going to announce 18th, 19th to here is 58 days. So that locks into him as well. So... And then she said, the next thing she said is, if you had to choose one, if it was a life and death situation, which one would you choose? And then that is exactly 418 backwards. Again, there's 418. 418 backwards. And he's Mr. 58. <laughs> Please. Just a minimum. He's the 58th president. 58th inauguration, I mean, of a president. So, I mean, seriously. And then so, and then she says again, or he, then he said, so she he, she asked him those questions. And it says, I would probably choose love. I would probably choose love. Probably choose love. Who knows? I don't know. i uh, probably choose love. And then, so, that is exactly 17 plus 6 is 23, 4. 23rd of April. And, or 21 plus 2 is 23, 4. 17 plus 6, 23, 4. 23rd of April. 
21 plus 2 is 23rd of April. 23rd of April, 23rd of April. Again, zombie day is 2, 3, 4, 23rd of April. Both are. And then I'm just showing this as an extra thing. If you put one thing the Lord just showed me, I was like, I put in Rona Barrett twice, and it literally is 26th of April, and it's 15 plus 8 is 23, 23rd of April. 26th of April is his death. 23rd of April is um, he's causing, he helped cause the Zombles Day because he's bringing the Hokey Pokey, and he knows it. He knew it, he knows it, he's, he, he will know it <laughs> at on that day. Okay, so that's, I'm telling you, boom. Okay, now, now Trumpel has all these 666s and stuff, but the king of 666, and there's nobody that comes close, because I, I have over 700 solid evidences The Stinky B.O., the 44th Prez, Barack and Sane, Obamazels, is the Antichrist, um, and I will, over 700, I've stopped counting over 700 pretty much, because uh, there's just too many, uh, anyway, um, but he has, um, I'd say at least 150, maybe more different ways that he's Mr. 666. I'm just going to show you a few where he's Mr. 666. Okay, here's one here. So this this calls for wisdom. This is Revelation 13, 18. Okay, and, and then people go, oh, you should do this gematria and numerology. Hey, God says to. Okay, it's in Revelation right here. This calls for wisdom. Let one who has understanding, because I have understanding, I've been given it by Jesus. He's been teaching me this. By the way, you're supposed to listen to Jesus over demons or over your theology or over your false theology or your, um, you know, your religiosity. Okay, and that's what most people have religiosity. Bar almost anybody. I used to have religiosity to some degree until I could find out what I was actually doing and what what the truth was. Um, it's all I knew until I could find out the truth. I had to go by religiosity in a sense. So um, and then eventually, knowing Jesus, He set me completely free. And then knowing it's about love and it's about, you know, really knowing the truth um, and what the Bible is really saying and how he leads you to that and what it's really saying. Because there's, th there's, I mean, there's an infinite amount of people that think they know the word. But if you don't know Jesus, you don't know what the word's really saying. Um, I've met th hundreds and hundreds of people over the years and they study the word, know the, think they know the word, but they don't know Jesus. And they, they're some of the biggest jack wagons I've ever seen in my entire life. And they're arrogant as they could be. Um, I mean, there's some, there's some people that also know the word and they're not as arrogant and everything like that too. But I'm saying that I, some of the ones who have been so puffed up with arrogance, it's just mind blowing. And they, they do that because they want to be known as knowing the word. They want to be known as knowing certain things instead of just knowing it because it, it's the right thing to do and, or it's the right way to be and all that kind of stuff. And it's just puffed them up and it made them very arrogant. And it's, it's just really kind of anno really annoying. In fact, I was around enough people growing up like that that it, I said, I don't want to be like that. And I just want to be genuine and, and real. And, you know, real is refreshing, by the way. And, you know, I, I just want to always be, I'll be real and genuine with it, with all of you and anybody, anybody I know, I've just, I'm, I'm that way because that's not religious. It's just being real. And uh, I mean, you know, and that's how Jesus is. And he'll take me just the way I am and being real. And that is, you know, that is real. That is true. That is that is the way he wants it. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. So a call for wisdom, let one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is in the, so he says to calculate it. Where is the number of a man and his number is 666. So check this out. The number of a man, Barack Obama's is 666 in Jewish. Okay. Also, it's 23 letters and six words are 623. And Barack Hussein Obama's is 63 in Jewish as well. <laughs> It's crazy. There's so much. And then he was born in Hawaii, okay, which again is reverse English, exactly opposite of New York. New York is English Sumerian. This is reverse English Sumerian. And this is 666. Okay, it's crazy. Then Honolulu, Hawaii is literally the day he's going to die in that because that's where he's going to die. But I believe, and there's a lot of evidence of that. And look backwards, April 25th is his death day, plus one is his reported death day. This is exactly backwards. Four. And again, we got reverse and reverse again. Does he have the related here? How he is 666, and then that's reverse English Sumerian. And then in regular English Sumerian, New York is 666. And then reverse English Sumerian, Honolulu is 425. He's going to die on 425 and report on, on 426 plus one. It's crazy. And another way, he is was born on the 216th day of the year, supposedly, which is 6 times 6 times 6, or in that way, 666. This is some of the most basic ways, okay? And then how about this? So his full name, 
These are the uh, ba four base ciphers of Gematria. Anybody that knows anything about Gematria will tell you and they understand this. Um, this these are four base ciphers. So you have English and reverse English, full reduction and re reverse full reduction. What's full reduction? Well, you're reducing uh, when you get to a point of double digits, you're reducing it to what well, you can reduce it down to. So when you get to one, one through nine is one, you know, is one through nine. Uh, or through uh, nine is um, is I, and then J is ten. Okay, so ten is reduced down to one. So anyway, you just keep going. That's full reduction. These are the four base ciphers. Well, if you add these up, that plus that plus that plus that, you get what? Ah, ha ha! And that's just some of the ways that he is that way. Okay, and then here he is in some different documents here. Um, his name equaling Barry Satoro. His name equals Sabarka. Steve Dunham, even. Oh, man, I have so much. I have so much. I have another several hours of stuff, the incredible stuff I wanted to share. But I've kind of got to keep on this particular train and keep it at maybe closer to two hours, maybe. Uh, be, and I just don't have the time. I had to get this out, too. I was running really up against the clock, trying to get this out before um, the 18th and 19th as well. Um, I mean, he is Steve. Steve! Steve! Um, oh my gosh, there's a main Minecraft dude, his name is Steve, and he's also the same look of him with the pants and shirt as a, as a, as a zombie, and I've called Sticky Beal the king of the zombies for so many, so many years now, it's crazy, and then right over here, here's literally from Family Tree, um, or sorry, Ancestry.com, showing Barack, um, Barack as, um, Barry and Hussein and Dunham and Sabarka. So his name is Barry Sabarka or Barack Dunham or Barry Dunham. All this stuff. These are his multiple names. I'm just showing you as evidence. It's in here. Satoru, Satoru Sabarka, Barry Sabarka right here. All that stuff. There's even more, you know. Anyway, to give you an idea. So Barry Sabarka equals exactly Mark of the Beast. And this is in all these, all these here. The only one that's different right here is this. This is full reduction KV versus single reduction KV. Um, but that's the only difference um, as far, but they have the same number, which, because they can be super similar a lot of times because they're KV. So, but all these other ones are exactly the same. That is, that is exactly impossible. And I'm explaining to you why that's exactly impossible just by one of them. Okay. So that, okay. So we have literally, we're just going to talk about one. So Barry Sabarka is 14 digits and Mark of the Beast is 14 digits. It would be like you put in a combination lock of letters and you had 14 of them and you expected somebody, if, unless they had the right combination, they couldn't open it. Okay, and now let me explain why what that is. First of all, so in English Gematria, we'll just use English Gematria for example, and this is the same for all of these other ones. We have, we have uh, 14 spaces, 14 letters, and then for each column, there's 26 possibilities. Go back over here. So you actually see right here, with the numbers, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, there's 10. So this would be 10, 10, 10, 10. So 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, times 10 is 10,000. So there's 10,000, there's 1 in 10,000 possibilities that you're going to get this right, whatever someone programmed it as. Let's say they just called it 000, zero, zero like it is right here. And then, I mean, you know, you want to do it harder because a lot of, some people might predict zero, 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 of course. That's why this that worked that way. So, but the chance of, and that's why everybody has a pin um, on their credit card is typically a four digits because it's a one in 10,000 chance that somebody w could take it. Well, that's, that's good enough for security for most people in the world having a four digit pin. And that's one in 10,000 chance. So someone is going to go and try to use your pin and just start typing in possibilities eventually most things are going to kick it out or even if they, even if they did use some system where it didn't kick it out they're not going to sit there and try 10,000 possibly 10,000 times so <laughs> though it's more it's relatively secure okay and not as secure as other things i'm sure but for most people it's very adequate one in 10,000 we're not talking about that we're talking about way more than that we're talking about we're talking about one in 64 uh quintillion okay so we have so that's 26 Okay, 26, uh, 26 letters in each space, so on each column. So, for example, the first one was either B for Barry or um, M for Mark. So let's just say it could be either one that could open up. Well, we all have, only have these two options, and you have one, you have 26 letters per, per column, 
26 letters per column. So we have B or even M. Okay. Well, let's just say it. Let's just say someone had to get, we, I put it in as this, but someone had to guess this. <coughs> because that's what they're saying. They're basically saying, hey, we know who the guy is. Okay. And here's a code for his name. It's one of his names that he doesn't use very much. Or, yeah, he, you know, people don't know very much. But then he's really that. He's really got, you know, associated with that. So you got to guess that to know that, this, that it's him. So inside we have this name and you got to put, you got to put in this code to figure it out. That's 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 a good explanation there. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we need another five of these across, okay, to get fourteen spaces like both of those names, okay, okay. And we're not going to include spaces. I mean, we could include spaces, but we're just not going to include. We just put the letters without spaces, okay. So then we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I, Z, all the way to the Q, all the way to Z, okay, right. So that's tw that's twenty six. 26, 26, 26, 26, 26 times 26 times 26 times, or 26 to the 14th power. And what does that get you? 64 quintillion. Okay, let me show you. So this is, this is hundreds of thousands. This is millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, quintillions. 64 quintillion. Quintillion. A 1 in 64 quintillion chance that you would put in the exact code across bar um, a Mark of the Beast and it would open up and say, who, this is who he is. He's the Barack or Barry Sabarka. And then you'd have to go, okay, who's Barry Sabarka? Oh, that's what, oh, that's Barack Obama's name. Okay, he's the Mark, okay, that's the answer to the universe. Do you get it? Hopefully I framed it well. See, a lot of people don't understand how this is at all. So they look at the number, they go, uh, you know, uh, okay, it's just a mantra, whatever, you know, no big deal. Trying to explain it so you understand. So that would just be on one cipher. 64 qu uh, quintillion on one cipher. Okay, then you take that. This is the 14th power, right? Now let's take this. So 14 to the 28th power to the whatever, uh, 32nd power, to the whatever. Each one is to that many more, more power. So basically impossible. You'd never get it. It's ne The only way this could possibly match is if it was planned. So I hope, I hope that you understand that. That's the only way this, this was planned. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. So we're just in this matching this these two together be 144 but also but not just 144 but their name is matching okay so that's what's important okay so hopefully that makes sense because it could be any version of number i mean any version of letters across it could be anything so now then you times up by all these different ones because we have 12 of you know of different ciphers that they completely match in all 12 and this is super rare i mean i've only found this kind of thing a few times and that's also include me now i got something even bigger here watch this Guess who the false prophet is? The Bishop of Rome. <laughs> this is 18 different ciphers. Again, excluding this one right here because single and reverse, but they have the same number. But these are, besides all that, these are all the same. All the same. So 17, and then excluding one, which is the, but still has the same number. But 17, the most I've ever seen. That's this is basically it's saying, okay, so I'm going to say it like this, okay, what are the chances that if I gave you a deck of cards and you shuffled them, every time you shuffled them for a little bit, then you, then you laid them out and they went exactly in order. How many times would it take you to shuffle them and then for them to go exactly in order? <laughs> huh. That would never, I mean, it would just never happen. I mean, you could do it in your lifetime and pass it on lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, but it would never happen because it's 52 possible cards and then it's 52 long. So it's 52 to the 52nd power. This is very similar to that. This is very similar. So what, the, so you look at the exactly opposite of that and you say that this could not have been, there's no way this could have been planned. It's like, you know, it's like that idea that, you know, a bunch of monkeys um, in a room of typewriters would eventually type out Shakespeare. It just will never happen. Okay, so the antithesis to that would be that it's uh, it's it's too it's impossible. So then, and then, and we look at the I'm sorry, if you look at the antithesis antithesis to that, that this is planned. That there's no way this could actually 
end up being like this. There's no way it could just end up being like this. It's too fantastical. The numbers are too um, amazing and, and it'll be off, just off the charts. Same thing with a bunch of monkeys possibly banging on typewriters and um, bumping out a Shakespeare of some kind. That just the numbers are too astronomical. So this is proving that these match. Okay, they, they are. There's no again. It's like a code. Again, this is a twelve digit, a twelve digit, and this is uh, this is like another one of those locks, and that's uh, somewhere in the quadrillions or whatever, just on the English ordinal alone. Hope that makes sense. Okay, now, now I'm going to show you a couple more things here that I've shared this in the past. Um, if you look at um, Obama's daughters, Amalia and Natasha, okay, backwards, uh, Aliam and Satan, okay. If you take out Allah because he is um, supposedly people think he's Muslim, but so but the point is he's the god of whoever. Okay, so he's Allah. You take Allah out of their names backwards, and you get I am Satan. Okay, and then he was dressed up as a Baphomet uh, in a particular party right after um, he was not president anymore, I believe, and he went to this party, and one of his constituents took this picture, and this has been documented. This is absolutely established. Um, and then she took it off, but then it was already digitally verified everything, and that was definitely him. And then they, he's good friends with this dude um, as well. And I know a lot of things about this, so, I mean, this is not fake or anything like that. This is him. This is actually his face and everything. And then you, this is probably the best look of his face to match that. It's identical. Anyway, and this has been already established in so many ways. And digitally, it's completely confirmed that the, the this is him. Um, so anyway, but anyway, plus, I mean, look at this. I mean, what are the chances? This is far beyond con uh, you know, coincidence that, you, that he's Allah and I am Satan. Please, Kerr, please. Now, the first day is 419. Again, that's the, the, technically the first day, 419. And that's a Wednesday. So it's going to be the one that really matters to be Wednesday. Plus, there's a, there's a show on Netflix, I think, called Wednesday about Wednesday Adams. It's a female dark character and that's what sticky be always is a dark female character um wednesday <laughs> um seriously it's crazy so right here here we are again wednesday is also equals 100 the 100 day of the year is april 9th and it can also be shown as april slash nine which is 419 also in symbolically 419 get it and then Wednesday, we slash out some nines because there's two, a bunch of extra nines here. Five plus four is nine. Get rid of that. Four plus five is nine. Get rid of that. Four plus five is nine. Get rid of that. Okay. Now we have what? We have one plus one plus two is four. Then we have 19. Boom. And for, for a nice change, we have 23. Super solid right here. 23. Boom. Four, 19, 23. Right there. And then guess what? I am Satan Allah. All that is a is a uh, anagram of both his daughter's names. This whole thing is an anagram of both his daughter's names. I am Satan Allah. Okay, is one hundred as well. Look, that's which is four slash nine or four nineteen as well. And then also, I am Satan Allah is also ah uh, nineteen four. You know, just so it keeps it on the same. I mean, see that's showing it as proving it as well in many ways. Just keep bringing it. I keep bringing it now from his birthday. Okay, his supposed birthday, nineteen sixty one to his first day of his birth on April 18th, just happens to be 4 1923 backwards. The exact date. April 19th, 2023, 4 19 exactly backwards, please. Please. And then Antichrist is 4 19, 4 in the middle of 19, and then that's 2, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, or 22. And this is a big reason why I thought it could, I've seen a lot of these 20, 2 2 2s and 2 2s, uh, things, but what happens is you take one from here because it's, it's not only four eighteen, but it's four, four nineteen, but it's four eighteen. Take a one from this eight nineteen, which makes it eighteen. Add it to here, you have twenty three. So it'd be four eighteen twenty three. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, August four is his birthday, which is four, again four nineteen. Same thing. Antichrist born on August four, and then also just to, to keep it going here, August fourth is the 216th day of the year with 149 days left over, 149, 149, 149, which is all three of these are 419. And by the way, also I had a dream about, um, there was a, and I shared this a few years ago, I had a dream where Jesus um, was kind of across from me, and there was a huge 216 in the air, and I knew that that was, at the, in the dream, I knew that already that that was the day, or the day he was born, the 216th day of the year, 
And then he went up to the six and he flipped it around and it went to a nine. And he said, two, one, six is two, one, nine. And it just happens to be that um, April 19th is also the second month. April is the second month in the Roman calendar. So 419 is 219. So 216 is 219. So, and I've been also told that Isis is born on 210 in a dream I had last year. Um, Isis is born on 210, and 219 is 2, and then 1 plus 9 is 10 is code for 219. And then I've also uh, been told something else. <laughs> I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, so different dreams, different things, a lot of gematria and stuff to prove this stuff out. So, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, and then he is so attached to what I'm showing you here in so many ways. He's attached, you know, like all this stuff. He's attached to 419 or 109, the 109th day of the year is 419, okay? So, so here we go. Barack Obama visit to Denmark. Okay, um, we have 109 chairs. <laughs> see, Obama, 109. 109 day of the year is 419. Plus, we have, look, we have 4 and then 19, 419 and 109, both. See that? Um, when he, 109-year-old daughter of slave vote Obama. Okay, look at this, 109, 109th day of the year is 419. Are you kidding me? And then later, she dies. So the 113th day of the year is 423, the first attack day. But then they also say, oh, this decades, 40 hours a week, they mentioned 109 again, her 109th birthday, even though now she, she died at 113. They mentioned her 109th birthday again. And look, there's four in front of it, 19. 419, 419 is the 109th day of the year. See how they do that? It's crazy. Crazy. A Republican senator just prayed that Obama, days be few, you know, because they're super evil. Okay, and this, they, he probably did it on purpose and stuff because he's part of the whole thing. All these people are. 109 and 108. See that? 109, 108. Again, 109th to 108th day of the year is May, or April 18th and April 19th. I'm telling you, uh, Obama lives in the White House now, but he, let's not forget, he used to call Harlem home. Obama's first New York home was a shoebox railroad apartment at West 109th Street. April 19th is the 109th day of the year. Please. Senator Barack Obama, blah, blah, blah. He was in the 109th Congress as the senator. 109. See? He's tied so many ways to 419 and 109. It's just insane. And 108 and 418. I'm just showing these, these for example. This is uh, in uh, um, Michael's book. I mean, Michelle's book. My Michael, my Michael, Michael and I, Michael and I, my, 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 my Michael. He said in uh, Bear Grylls' show, he said, my Michael, or when he was um, with the... Uh, Navy in a speech, he said, M Michael and I really think that you, this and that. And he said it like three different times, M Michael or Michael and I, when would you ever call your fee your female wife, M Michelle Michael, <laughs> unless that was his real name because he is, he's Michael. Okay. So anyway, um, but this is the four and a 19th quote from her book. And it's called becoming because he's becoming the antichrist on four nineteen. Bam. And then, oh, just this phrase right here, but all these other sentences and more of these different th phrases in her book are all this, but just to show you, it's all a process. Step along a path, 109, to become the Antichrist. 109th day of the year is 419. It's all a process. Step across, step along the path. It's all a process. Step along the path. Okay, boom. Okay, anyway. Uh, beating a dead horse. Okay, here we go. And then, look, 419 adults surveyed. Obama's little approval rating, 419. Obama is 419. Okay, boom. Top take five, top, ah, blah, 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 blah. okay, top five takeaways from President Obama, and look, 419 bi 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 billion, remember he said 216 is 219, and then 419, both are, four, both are 419, second month, 19th day, 216 is 219, okay, anyway, bam, and then uh, now it's 419 million, Obama spent billions, 419 Department of Defense right here, we also have 419, Four, nineteen, and then seven is two, two, three. Two plus two plus three is seven, so that's four, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, and four, nineteen, right there. I mean, come on, Obama's safety lies in opportunity. Um, in Chicago, there were four hundred nineteen homicides. Um, he he's from Chicago, of course. Oh, stock illustrations for, of Obama vector just happened to be four hundred nineteen of them. Please, are you kidding me? Friday talking points number four nineteen. Obama's final presser, because he's Mr. 419. 
He's born on April 19th. I'm telling you, wow. After ripping Republicans, Obama tells Las Vegas crowd, don't boo vote. Okay, in addition, uh, proposal, Romney's proposal to cut education and additional for her, what's that? The rest of the thing is 419 teachers were laid off. Obama, 419, and more. I mean, it's every, every, every kind of version of 419 you can imagine. Okay, now here's, we got people, numbers, dollars, dates, chairs, everything. Here's a here's an address, 419. Oh, Obama makes a surprise stop at Cantor's Deli. Ah, 419. Obama, 419. Um, Iran sanctions, blah, blah, blah. Obama, House voted 419 to 1. Or 419, look at this. 419 minus 1 is 418. 418, 19. They do this all the time with sneaking in a minus 1. 419 minus 1 is 418. 418 to 19. I'm not even going to tell you what that is. That's 666 right there. Bam, it's crazy. He goes to the fighter wing. The 419th fighter wing out of what possible what? 100? 300? I don't know how many fighter wing the ifs are there. Or first, 41st, or the 102nd, or the. I mean, look, 419th, he'd end up being, please. I mean, wow. Obama pays hard to look back at Wall Street pay. Boom. Okay. 419 companies. Obama. 419 again. It just keeps going. And there's more that I've even showing and I'm going to show. There's at least 50 more. I'm just showing you some broad scope of different ones here as you can see. But look at the Smithsonian Magazine. Okay. August. Okay. What a look. ISIS is born on 210, Lord told me. 210. Talking of President Obama. 419 and what's the numbers before letters before mh which is 48 4th of august is his birth 4th 419 is his birth and the birth everybody knows 48 for the most part and the birth nobody knows is 419 48 419 are you kidding me bam how about this i just worked this up recently china invades taiwan will be on the first day in which china invades is 109 for the 109th day which is 419 Taiwan is 68 in English ordinal. Day of birth is 108, as in the 108th day of the year, 418. And Siggy B.O. is 68 as well. Look at that. So this is how Gematria works. You have something about, oh, by the way, remember when we had like a solid month and a half of train derailments? Like February to part of March or something. And they were never in the news or they haven't been in the news for, forever. And we had train derailment, train derailment. Big, huge chemical spills and all that kind of stuff. Train derailment, train derailment. By the way, train derailment is 163 in English Shamatra. What's Barack insane Obama? 163. Every single thing in the news now that's anything big has to do with him. It's some code for him. And like I said, China invades Taiwan is a code for day of birth, Barack insane, no, no Obama. Okay. I'm telling you, that's how this works. Look at this. We have, this is an iPad goat. By the way, I have several things from iPad goat I could share. I'm not going to this time. Um, hopefully this is it. Like I said, I mean, in a way, hopefully I just want to, oh my goodness. I just want to be with the Lord so badly. But there's a lot of people still to reach out to and save and stuff too. So I'm very conflicted all the time. But I really want to get to the end of this for my brothers and sisters who are struggling as well. And and there's thousands of them out there. Out there. I get emails all the time of all kinds of things. And my heart breaks every day. And it soars every day from listening to the Lord Jesus and helping people. Yes. And so I'm thankful. It's a mixed bag, if you can imagine. I get the hardest things and the best things. And so, but it's life, you know, it's life. That's the way it goes. It's a fight. And I'm taking it to the enemy, to my my mortal enemy, the Satan, but also my minor enemy, the Stinky B.O. and all his minions and stuff. And I'm taking it to him with truth. Woohoo! Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I, I got to wake up a little bit. I'm kind of, uh, okay. Anyway, so these are the ribs of the beast. This is the belly of the beast. As a short, and this is the invasion of Taiwan. And so um, this is China's tanks, okay? And I've showed many times, this is Angelina Jolie. Sun Tzu is the character in Ipego, and she matches Angelina Jolie in Gematria. Angelina matches Sun Tzu. And also, she's got a tiger on her back. Angelina Jolie has a, um, a, a tattoo of a tiger in the almost exact same position on her back. 
Um, it shows she is waving a flag of, of kind of surrender because she recently surrendered her um, commission with the UN peacekeeping kind of uh, ambassador kind of thing and all that stuff. So this is all apropos. Not that she'll show up at this time. She could. Um, she's also really um, fought against, um, spoke against um, uh, China with Taiwan because like she had a director um, that she really likes, um, Ang Lee. Um, and he is from Taiwan or whatever, and she really uh, was fighting for him in certain ways uh, because he is from there, I guess, or something like that. I mean, this is all, again, this is all predictive programming. It's all kind of stuff. But, um, you know, she's really connected to this, and I've proven that in many ways. So, but but right here, we have the belly of the beast here. We'll start this whole thing off, and that's, um, so we have a rib here. Now, this is also, again, there's the ribs there, the belly beast coming up here. You can see death because death has the, got the beast Okay, because he's going to die. This is Stinky Bo. He's dying. The beast is him. He's the beast from the sea, and the beast from the sea is in Avatar. They're literally in the latest of Avatar. They're hunting the bad guys. Are hunting the beasts of the sea. They're kind of the whales, the big thing, the big. So just imagine this is a whale. See, that's what a big huge whale is like this. The bones would go up. This is the beast of the sea. Okay. And Stinky B.O., the Bible says he's the beast that from, comes from the sea or whatever, right? So here it is right here. We have the beast. So there's these, like, imagine this, like, this is a huge fossilized whale. And these are the bones that come up, just like there's the, the scene here. And I thank my brother, um, Constantine, for helping me with this and seeing this stuff. It's just amazing, too. So, man, it's not, so we, here's that. And then check this out. This is the eclipse. Right here, there's, oh, let me go over here. There's the eclipse. There's eclipse happening right here, just like it is. It's, again, iPad Goat mirrors life because they program all this stuff and things in life and in movies and TV and media and all that stuff. I mean, when you have stuff like Notre Dame on fire and falling, the spire falling a certain way, just like it did in the cathedral in, in, in uh, iPad Goat and, and, you know, showing different things ahead of time and then they end, end up happening. Like in iPad Goat, um, there's presidents behind the main girl, Lily, and all those presidents, uh, for example, one of those was Donald Trump, and that was way before he became president, but he's sitting there as a president. I mean, they just have, there's over 50 different things, uh, and I, now I have probably over 60 now, so maybe 70, I don't know now, uh, maybe more, I don't know. And it also shows how the Pope is going to die at the same time CBO does. And then he's going to come, um, Stinky B.O. is going to bring him back to life when he comes back to life. And that's why the, he's going to be the big false prophet for him because he's going to bring him back to life when he comes back to life. So um, he's going to have that power to do that. He's going to have the power over death um, and that kind of stuff. At the time. So we have an eclipse going on over the belly of the beast right here. And check this out. In the movie, the movie is 312 um, hours long. By the way, 312, the 300, uh, the, um, oh, what was that again? I've almost, I forgot. Oh, the day. I can't remember now. It's There's a day with 312 days left over. Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's a reason why this is 312 three long. Um, anyway, but the the time when you get to this exact spot, the time left is 419 minus 1. <laughs> That's how much. It's an hour, mo uh, hour and 40 minutes left, right? Uh, right? But... Or or that much into it or whatever that you okay whatever it is but look at that Fortnite on this exact time this begins World War Three this begins this whole timeline everything like that on four nineteen four eighteen and there it is four nineteen right here and there's the eclipse there's the belly of the beast the, uh, the whatever it's crazy it's all it's, it's in everything it's in everything thank you so much for your help with that um, my brother okay and then right here there's another scene okay. Um, this is the thing that's hunting the beasts of the sea. It's a big, uh, like, you know, craft or whatever that goes over the water. And then here, now look at that. SD01, what is that hiding? Okay, let me show you. SD01 is what? S is 19, D is 4, four O or 0 is really hiding O, and O is 15 and 1. Now let's break this down even more. 19, 4, and then we're just going to switch the 5 and the 1 right here. They do that. Just one switch usually. Okay, so we got 19, 4, 1, 1, 5. And that is 19, 4, 1 plus 1 is 2, 5. And 19, 4, 2, 5 is, 9, is 19, 4, and 19th of April, or 4, April 19th, 2, and 5 is hiding 23. 19, 4, 19, 23, 19, that's what's hiding in front of your face. Hidden in plain sight is one of their mottos, okay, because that's how they do it. That's how the enemy works. Upside down, backwards, 
hidden in different ways, you know, all that stuff. So um, here's another movie called Linoleum with uh, Jim Gaffigan. I was I was kind of looking forward to this movie, and then it ended up being a massive dud for me. Massive dud for me. But here he meets this character, meets himself in a weird, and again, this is like a, kind of a, it's a, kind of like a portal, okay? And it's, he's meeting himself as the Antichrist in a sense. It's, and he's wearing purple, that's why it's weird, okay? And so this begins this meeting of this portal opening and him meeting himself, okay? And then, I'm not going to say anything about the movie. Then, oh, what the heck? Oops, I messed up. Oh, I messed that up. Shoot. Ah! Okay, well, anyway, okay. Whatever. So and then he's he's right by his mailbox, which is 109, which is 419. His name is Cameron Edwin, which is 124th day of the year is the last day, May 4th. And the 109th day of the year is April 19th, the second day or the one of the first days. Okay. And then even Edwin, his last name, Edwin, which they've said a few times in the movie, is 109 as well. So, I mean, seriously, crazy. Okay. And then um, just show you kind of lately in some of these movies, they're just blatantly showing all this stuff and i'm just showing you a little bit of it i mean i could literally do two hours on these movies i'm showing you right now and then a couple hours on some shows like some of the oh my gosh these Kiefer sutherland shows this one that came out is going on right now called rabbit hole and then he had one um about uh it's called uh, designated survivor he did a few years ago and it's all about oh my goodness it's so about what's coming it's just amazing and what they're showing in rabbit hole right now they're admitting so many crazy stuff that the government's doing to people i mean it's just it's insane i mean i'm i'm in my mind's blown i i can't believe that people can't i get people are getting dumber i guess and they're showing more stuff it blows my mind so here watch this there's a movie called with taron egerton um tetris is literally watch this T is 20, but take away the zero. So T is 2 and 2, right? And then R is 18, 1 plus 8 is 9, and I is 9. So we're going to put the 9 and 9 of the R and I down here. Then S is 19, just to show you, kind of split it up to show you. Now E is the one that's, oh, shoot, what happened? Oh, I know what I did. I was editing this, and I changed it. So, okay, so, oh, wow, wow that was messed up. Okay, I know what happened. So there, just imagine there's a blue 5 right here, 5 for E. Oops. <laughs> I should have went through this again. Okay, a blue 5 for E, okay? So we have 2 plus 2 is 4, 19, and then 5 is hiding 23. And then we don't count these because 9s, anything add 9 to say the same, you need to get rid of any 9s. So that's 4, 19, and 5 is hiding 23. So we have 4, 19, 23 is what Tetris is hiding. That's why this is out right now. That's why it's out, okay? I think an Apple did it or something. So... And then Apple is the Apple and iPad Go rolling and you got the bite of the Apple is the fall of Adam and Eve and all that stuff. Anyway, crazy. Okay, and then here, so Taron Egerton was also in Kingsman. It was also done by Merv, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. Um, oh, my gosh. Marv, I mean, Marv. Okay, so here we go. Now watch. So this is a two, this is a compound word, Kings and Man. And I normally underline, underline these and stuff, but I'm just going to talk about this right now. So kings and man, a compound word, kings and man, first letter and last letter code. I'm one of the few people that ever talks about this. I, in fact, I don't know if anybody who does. So last letter code is S-N, okay? So uh, we're going to do we're gonna do first letter code actually on this one. So K is first letter of kings and M is the first letter of man. So K is 11 and M is 13. What is that showing? One and one plus one is two and three okay one two three the last day may may 3rd and then may 4th is the post day so may 3rd 123rd day of the year now we got in the last letter code is s and then n s is 19 n is 14 14 19 see that do you see that 419 and you, anything you add and then one can always be take away any time or one can be a slash <coughs> so we literally have the first day and the last day because the pre-day is 418, the post-day is for uh, May 4th or the 124th day of the year. So first day, last day on this. Plus, even more than that, this is a movie about this guy has cell phones that are going to turn people into zombies, okay? It's, and it's just like it's what's going to be like... Um, in a sense, not not exactly specifically through the exact phones, but um, they're going to do it through the technology and they're going to turn people into killing machines and all that kind of stuff. And that's all predictive programming, this stuff. And what's involved in that as well, this is the production company for, or the company that makes this called M-A-R-V, Marv. 
And look, it looks like there's like little, like little, little things like that infect people, whatever. You know, see that? Isn't that crazy? And then watch this. Well, first of all, Marv is 54 in English Gematria. And look at this. It is literally 4, 18, and then 1 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2, 3. So 4, 18, 23. 4, 18, 23 is the predate. Boom. It's crazy. Um, and then um, Marburgsels, I'm going to say that Marburgsels is a type of virusels. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, and it's been popping up in different places like. And there's going to be some people in the truth community saying that this is linked to, this particular thing is linked to the, the what's coming with the zombies and all that kind of stuff. So this just happens to be 108, 109. When you put these together, 108, 109, okay? Um, and many things, okay? And then check this out. The, the This this guy, which is coming up in the news quite a bit more lately, I saw one, an article from earlier, uh, just a few days in March, the end of March. Um, now we're in April here, the middle of April, so... Um, but look, it's called Marv for short. See that? Remember the thing about the that produced the, the this the company that produced Kingsman about people go turning into zombies, and then this thing is linked to the zombie zombionic people. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, man? Okay, now rabbit hole. Man, I thought man, this is crazy, man. I thought I had a single shot. Is a rabbit hole. Okay, this is Kiefer Sutherland. This is going right now. I, it's just crazy. I literally, I can't watch the show because I'm pausing every two seconds to say, oh, they said this. Oh, they did this. There's Jumachi here. There's 419 here, 109 there, 108 here, 119, 419 here, 418 here. I mean, I literally, the last episode, I, I have not finished because I can't watch it because I'm finding everything, something every couple seconds. Like guy comes out of the elevator, says you, and this is something or something. You put it together, it's 419. I'm like, what? Wow, you know, just everything. It's crazy. So rabbit hole is 110 and 68. Now watch this. Apollyon is 110 and Stinky B.O. is 68. Okay, that's not a coincidence. See, this is both. This is a pattern here. Reverse and normal. Reverse and normal. And he is the he is the lord of the bottomless pit or hole. See? And that's he is him. He is him. And I'm just, hey, there's a lot more I've shared in the past to prove that. And more I'm going to share now. Okay. And then, by the way, rabbit is also in Jewish. 419.23 backwards. Look at this. 419.23. Uh, seriously. Crazy. Okay. And then you see this This is black and yellow. This whole, this ad here is, this, you know, this artwork is black and, or black and yellow. Black, yellow, 4726. Antichrist for seven two six, our puzzle is also seven two six. Anyway, but rabbit hole like this. See, they're showing that this is they're giving you the impression this is an eight. See that? So if this is an eight, that's an eight. See that? It's a little trick there. They show this as an eight, so it's eight. So if you make R A eight eight I T hole, okay, it's one four four. What's one four four? Perry Samark again. Mark of the Beast, dude. Mary, Mary Sabarka, 144. And there's even more coming. Watch this. And then, look, if you spell these out, Ra, that's Ra. He's Ra also. And he's it. He is Ra. Because he's going to be the god, sun god, and associated with the sun god. And he's also it, the thing that hides in the sewers and takes the children. Um, wants to take the children. He's the one that tries to devour the child. And that spelled out 88 is 234. And then again, Barry Sir Barkles is 234, 234, rabbit hole with the numbers is 144, Sir Barkles is 144. I mean, goodness. And this is the same day because why? Because the 23rd, the rabbit hole is a hole, is a portal. And that's when the children are taken versus all, by the way, all the innocent children are taken. If you want to see evidence of that, I have scriptures about that and even um, the 144 and some other stuff, three different sets of stuff. Um, is they're in links in the description box below the video, this video, um, a lot of scriptures that support this stuff. I've done in-depth research about this stuff. All the, before all this crazy stuff starts happening, all the innocent children are going to be taken on the fourth slash fifth day, which is 22nd and 23rd of April. Okay. If this is, if this is the right timeline, if this is real, so again, I'm doing my very best guess. The stuff is just in, insane. What I'm finding now every day, all day, I'm finding everything. So we'll see. But again, we I don't know the future. Um, the best I can do is what the Lord gives me clues and, you know, uh, breadcrumbs and all that kind of stuff, but and tell you that this may be it. Okay, but well, we'll see. 
Okay, that's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. If you don't like that, if you don't like someone who sets dates, which is basically a, a phrase by the C, I, and then A thing, um, so is a conspiracy theory, um, the date, or date setting, whatever you call it, people called it. <coughs> it's just guessing, okay? People guess and everything. They speculate. You know, people in courtrooms accuse people of crimes, and they're wrong, but that's their job, you know, and things I don't even do. So... Um, but whatever, if I'm not going to convince you, if you are super religious or someone who doesn't understand, someone just trying to warn people what's coming and has a lot of stuff to show that. Okay. So anyway, both of these are <laughs> Sabarka. I mean, are you kidding me? Now remember Sabarka, I'm going to get into it in a little bit here. So, but first, okay. This also matches Chuck Connors. Now what, what does that matter? Well, Chuck Connors, it's interesting. The, the, I can't believe the rabbi, and it's so crazy because the Lord's been talking, I mean, I go down rabbit holes all the time. <laughs> oh, I was going to say about this. I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. So th this is, okay, so these, this is the day, this is the portal day. Okay, I was telling you about all this stuff. Um, so the portal day is the 23rd of April, right here. See, 23rd of April is the rabbit hole day, the first portal that opens. There's always going to be another one that opens at the end of the timeline. Okay, so one on the 5th, 4th slash 5th day, and the one on the last day, the 16th, or 15th, 16th day, the eight, uh, May 3rd and 4th, probably around, you know, the transition, or close to midnight, probably, I don't know what time it would be, but I'm just guessing at this point, but I have some educated guesses on that, but it doesn't matter. So, but this is also when the 144 transformed, because it's the children, then the 100, uh, sorry, it's 144 first, then, then they will get the clues on how to hand off the children, uh, because we're going to do some of that. And then, and then we're gonna be ready for what's coming, and be able to deal with the zombies and stuff, and with people and things that people that we know and all that kind of stuff, and we'll know how to cast demons out and all kinds of stuff because we a lot of us already know that, but we can get extra tools and stuff from Jesus at the time. So hey, if you don't believe in this this stuff, crazy stuff, I'm sorry, but that's what's gonna happen, and and then you're gonna look back. See, Jesus told me that um, when I before I first started doing YouTube. I mean, this has been about five years ago. I started a little over four and a half years ago, starting YouTube, day after Obama's birthday. I didn't even realize it, but he told me that Obama's birthday in 2018 that I wanted to start doing YouTube videos. I didn't even realize it was his birthday or anything like that. And then to once till months later, I went, oh my gosh, it was his birthday, his 57th birthday, and I'm talking about Mr. 57 right now. This whole first day is about 57. He is, he's triple tau. Uh, a long story. Okay. Um, anyway. Um, what was I going to say about that? I just lost my train of thought. Ah, um, oh, the Lord told me that um, before I even started you doing YouTube, He said, "Listen, I want you to start doing, getting the word out there to people, and then, uh, but most people aren't going to believe you until after this stuff happens. But the vast majority, they're going to think you're crazy until the stuff starts happening, and then they're going to realize you heard from me." And that's what they told me. And, I, so, and I've been hit, hitting thousands and thousands of people telling me that some of the worst stuff, even threatening my life and my family's life, stuff like that. Ridiculous stuff like that. Just because I want to warn people and people take it way too seriously or they're too demon possessed to uh, <laughs> function as real people and death threat you and stuff like that. It's crazy. People, it's just nuts. It's crazy. Okay. Anyway, so this is the 200th, uh, 23rd of April, the first portal opening up. And that's when the 144,000 change. This is so crazy. Okay. So anyway, again, we went down a rabbit hole with this guy, Chuck Connors. I could not believe it. I'm like, what, 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 what? So Chuck Connors, the rifleman. <laughs> okay. Look, 666. Six, six, this is crazy. Okay. And then he died 11 10, 1992. Okay. What's the big deal about that? Well, if you color code that, again, there's 11 is 11, 1, 1. Okay. Again, O, 0 is O, hiding O, 15. And then one, one, nine, nine. And then we're going to get rid of this nine is an extra nine. And then we have two of that. So then we have four, four, 19, two, and then five is 23. Boom. Everything is about this stuff. I mean, I'm going through everything, even past stuff. Everything is about this time. It, and 419 is hidden. It's almost so much things. And 418. And 423. And um, it's crazy. Okay, boom. Now watch this. This is this is insane. This, this gets really insane. Okay, so there's Chuck Connors with his wife at the time. Can you believe this? Kamala Devi. And I, when I saw this, Lord led me this, I was like, I, I about like, I was like, Exque squeeze me, baking powder. What? Kamala Devi. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 
the vice president's name is Kamala Devi Harris. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? Wait. And it's about the first day. And what's going to happen on the first day? This is my timeline. It's a pin to the top of comments. Um, is that uh, uh, some uh, Joe Biden's is going to be Biden Joe uh, creepy Uncle Joe Biden time is going to be removed somehow, either because of they're going to say he's too got too much dementia or something like that, or you're going to or something's going to happen physically and he's going to either be in the hospital or die. Okay, something like that. It's hard to say. There's some things that are competing and um, it's hard to say exactly, but he's going to be removed and then Kamala is going to take take over. Okay, as the president. In some way, and that's what the predictive program is showing. And then here, here's a Kamala Devi, Kamala, or Kamala, Kamala Devi, probably, actress. And then these both are linked to this first day, and all it's just insane. And this is her death, which is very similar to his death, November and everything. It's crazy. And I'll color code that. Now watch, boom, okay. Oh, well, that moved. <laughs> I moved that. Okay. Anyway, so we got one plus one plus two is four. One nine nineteen two. And then zero zero is O and O, and O and O is fifteen and fifteen, or six and six. Six plus six is twelve. One plus two is three. So right there, boom. Kamala. Now watch. Here we go. Kamala Devi is also an English word of seventy nine, and he's really that's showing Barack Obama seventy nine. And then here's Kamala Devi or Kamala Devi Harris. And I've said since I saw this, and I knew since I saw this. Devi stand is short for devil. Devil, Devi, you know, without the L. It's just Devi, Devil, Harris. Okay, I'm just telling you. And there she's been a devil. Now, and <laughs> all these people are demons. Listen, all these people are demons of flesh suits. Whatever they possibly were, if they ever were people, if they ever, if they ever were, that's all gone. And for them to get to the spot they are in, and the very highest, that they are in the. The um, the Bible says we do not fight against flesh and blood and its principalities, powers, minds, dominions, I mean, all that kind of stuff, the different levels. I'm not going to try to quote the whole thing right now because there's a couple of versions I like better, and I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but there's different um, levels of these spiritual planes of these demons, and they're on the very top of them. They're these rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness. And high, there's the spiritual wickedness in high places, um, and they, those are type of typical levels of demons that are at the very top. And so at this point, if these people are ever people, then they're, they're, those people are gone. They're sold out. They're gone. They're basically demons with flesh suits. So you don't pray for them. You, you pray for God's will to be done, and but you don't pray for them. You never pray for the demons in flesh suits. Mm -hmm. See, that's what that's the difference between um, you know a Christian that knows Jesus really and, uh, and knows some level of truth. They'll pray for these psycho people and not realize it's uh, absolutely worthless. Okay, if you're not sure, then if you, especially if you're not sure, I mean, you can always ask Jesus, but if you, if you hopefully you know him, most well, unfortunately, most Christians don't really know Jesus. They know of him, so he's their savior, but he's not their master. And that's a huge difference. If Jesus is not your master, that means he tells you to do things, especially things you don't want to do and that you do. That's another way you know you're following your master, Jesus. You do things you don't want to do sometimes or sometimes a lot. I mean, it depends where you are with him. In the beginning, I did things I didn't want to do all the time. Now I do things. Uh, it's not as bad because I've changed so much and it doesn't require me to do so many things I don't want to do because I've learned and grown and I've matured and all this kind of stuff, which is awesome. So... But that's how this stuff works, okay? Believe it or not, I know this stuff. I've been doing this with him for almost 20 years. As well, since I really knew who Jesus was. And I'm like, wow. I mean, I really followed best. I knew that my father, and I didn't know how this worked. And I knew I could have, I finally realized I could have a relationship with Jesus because he was talking to me. And I'm like, I could specifically have a relationship with Jesus and him give me details and and all this kind of stuff, and then follow him and him learn, teach me and learn me, <laughs> school me, and because he's Rabboni, the master teacher. Anyway, um, so Devi, Devil Harris. Okay, so her name actually means Lotus Devil, um, son of Harry. And by the way, uh, Harry's son is Apollyon, the archer, Archie. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, anyway, she and she's a mixed female or mixed black and indian or uh, yeah indian hindu she's also is uh, whatever but check this out so Ka kamala harris okay is one plus three is four three plus six is nine plus ten is nineteen four nineteen backwards twenty five is twenty three two and three so without showing you and highlighting all this stuff one plus three is four four 
3 plus 6 plus 10 is 19, and 20, and then 5 is 23. It's crazy. And so Kamala, Kamala it's all made up for this stuff. It's all, these. Like, that's why the demons in flesh suits, if they, when, whenever they were children, they were just completely put in this whole thing by their parents or, or whoever, or by test tube, <laughs> if they were from a test tube or something. I mean, I have no idea what it is. You never know how this stuff it comes to be, these evil things come to be, but... Okay, and then that's exactly va va exactly matches Vice President of the United States because check, check this out. Remember, I said this was two, and then five is twenty-three. Well, there it is spelled out exactly. Now forward, watch this. Just to make this a little bit easier, one plus five, one plus five plus three is nine. So we're gonna cross these out so you can see that. Now we have four, nineteen, one nine, twenty twenty-three. See that's proves what I'm seeing over here by this full twenty twenty-three. And I've seen these many times. To confirm that, that that's what's going on. So a lot of times, but they'll hide it most of the time because they're not going to show you. That's too obvious. That's way too obvious. That's so super rare. That's that obvious. Super super rare because they're hiding like little. Imagine like you know scurrying little you know bugs underneath a you know piece of board you have in the lawn or something, and you pull up this board that's been forever on the lawn. You pull it up, all these things are scurrying from underneath. Uh, that's how these things are. Um, they're crazy. So they've got to hide everything. Four nineteen twenty twenty three. Four, three plus six plus ten, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three. It's crazy. It's all about that day that this happens, coming up exactly. And Devi equals goddess. It's a heavenly, divine, anything in essence, whatever. Hinduism. She's Hindu, and that's why her name would be Devi. And then again, that actress name, Kamala or Kamala Devi. It's crazy. I mean, that's that's a clue. Hello, look over here. There's more clues for you. Someone else named Kamala Devi. Are you kidding me? Gosh. It's nuts. And then Devi, I knew it was devil, and Devi, that was pointing, I knew it was pointing to Obama's list. So, and this is, this is all in reverse English, and this is regular English. These, this one, this one, and this one, this one are the same. These are different, but this is reverse of this reverse. So this is reverse of that, but reverse of the reverse. The 32 versus 23, I thought that was kind of, kind of crazy here. So, but this is the, 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 this is a direct relationship. The devil is in Miss Jones. <laughs> <laughs> or in Miss Harris. I mean, give me a break. Debbie is, I mean, I'm proving it. I'm sorry. If you don't understand that, sorry. And then president equals Apollyon. <clears throat> Man, where, where the Lord is leading me to these things, I can't even explain how these days. I, I just, it's super, completely supernatural. How these, I mean, some of these are such codes that I haven't seen for a long time. And they're coming at me on, in floods now. I mean, and uh, these ideas going here, going here, da, 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 it's crazy. So present equals Apollyon. I mean, literally, present, Biden time removed, 109. Again, it goes along with the the Harris stuff. I mean, crazy. And then check this out. So Barca, again, remember that equal Mark of the Beast? But in a separate, different way, most some, some similar ways, but in another set of different ways, that equals that. It's insane. And that's impossible unless it's planned. So these these are two peas in a pod here, <clears throat> and then this was on um, st supposedly his mother, uh, Stanley Ann Dunham. Uh, she was renewing her passport or something, and on this copy, uh, it was copied. And then this is what she did. This is her writing, and she crosses out. So that's also good. Not not to mention the stuff I found on Ancestry and and other legal documents showing that uh, Stinky Bo is Sabarka, which I've known for a long time. But just to show you that that this is actually substantiated, that um, his name is Sabarka too. Okay, show you that because before remember I said remember Sabarka because I'm going to show you right now what Sabarka is, and I've covered this a couple years ago, but I'm going back into it because I want to hit all this stuff together and show you why. Trump is ushering all this stuff. Trump is ushering all this stuff, but even worse than him and the guy he's working for is is Sabarka because he's backwards. Sabarka is Hawk Rob Eos. Hawk Rob Eos is Hawk Rob Eos. What's Hawk Rob Eos? For those who don't know, Hawk Rob is Scorpion. And that's without the H and a different little bit different. It's Hawk Rob. It's really Hawk Rob with the silent H. Hawk Rob. Hawk Rob is Scorpion. Eos is goddess of the dawn so he is the scorpion goddess of the or should, i should say she is because it's he's actually so and again he's antithesis it's antithesis to god so god is more known for being f masculine even though he's just a, he's a spirit okay he's not either but 
he comes off as have more male attributes than female attributes, even though some of his names mean breasted one and provider and different things that are kind of feminine and all that. Um, and he has those kind of names, but we call it typically, most people call him a he and all that stuff. So the, the of course, the enemy is going to come with a female spiritual antithesis in a sense. So that's why, again, he's a she, he's a he, she, 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 she. So that is goddess of the dawn. So, so Barca is backwards, Akrab Eos, which is scorpion goddess of the dawn. Okay. Boom. Now I'm going to show you something else. Another thing that there's several things that connect him to Scor scorpion or scorpions. Here's one. I'm just going to show you one. He literally had a police thing he made called the scorpion um, method or whatever. And there's some other things. There's several things I can get into, but Jan Brewer leaves legacy of fighting Barack Obama. Jan Brewer fought president Barack Obama on immigration and border. Write a, write a book to follow up her, write a book to follow up her 2011 effort, Scorpions for Breakfast. So she is fighting the president and she, she has, she's having Scorpion for Breakfast. Scorpions for Breakfast. He's the Scorpion. Scorpion, Goddess of the Dawn. She's having, she's fighting him. She's having Scorpions for Breakfast. So get it? Hopefully you get it. She's having Scorpions for Breakfast. So, Scorpion. She's having scorpions for breakfast. She's taking them on. She's pointing her finger at him. She's saying, hey, listen to me with the border thing. I'm taking you on. I'm a scorpions for breakfast. And you're the scorpion. And it's 109 is scorpion, which is April 19th. That's his birth, in a sense, okay? And then 426 is, or the goddess is 116, the 116th day of the year. is 426, his death. He is the goddess Devi. And Devi, I showed you, equals Obama. Goddess Devi Obama, the goddess, uh, scorpion, scorpion goddess of the dawn. And dawn, English order and reverse. Again, we got English order and reverse. English order and reverse is 666, six, 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 six. Dawn is 666. Six, six. So 666 six, six, with 419 to 426 is what scorpion do, goddess of the dawn is. And there's the dawn. There's his logo. It's the dawn. He is scorpion goddess of the dawn. Sorry, that's what it is. Okay. Scorpion Goddess of the Dawn is also 116. I can just show you 116 right here. It's fully spelled out as 116. And why does that matter? Why does Scorpion Goddess of the Dawn matter? Why does Scorpion? Because in Revelation 9, 10 through 11, they had tails like scorpions and there were st stings on their tails. Remember, I showed you all the things that the Apollyon is president and Apollyon is also rabbit and things like that that they're hiding. Their stings on their tails, their power was to hurt men five months, and they had a king over them, the angel of the bottom's pet, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in the Greek his name is Apollyon. Apollyon is present, is rabid, is is uh, stinky beos, very sabarka. It's all that stuff. I'm telling you, believe it or not. So there is <laughs> the nuggets. Uh, there's, again, he's John the Baptist who just got arrested and he will be killed soon. Okay, he is Orange Man Trump. Orange Man, remember this horrible tan stuff, this orange, make him Orange Man. Orange Man 88, Trump, Orange Man 88, 88, 88. He's 88 several ways. I'm just going to show you these two. And then he is 88 in several different things. But I'm just going to show you this for the heck of it. Because he is was born on, supposedly, 4th of August. So that's four eights. And there's a there's a, this particular bill, which is um, HP 1017 LDs 888. I don't want... Joint resolution commending President Obama's on his selection of honorable George J. Whatever. So eight 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 eight. Okay, right. Boom. Why am I showing you this? Well, because this, because I now I'm saying on my timeline, and I've said for many years now, four and a half years, maybe four years now, um, that the stock market crash would be on the ninth day because the eighth day Trump will dies, and then we have New York basically smashed from oh. Obama, get it? Obama, <laughs> Obama. Uh, okay. Anyway, so that's he is the god of destruction. Okay, and of course his name would be Obama. Uh, okay. Anyway, Obama. Ah. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. Now I'm a little bit loopy now. Okay, anyway, so stock market crash, I was saying it would be the ninth day. So on my timeline, it's the 27th. So he dies on the 26th, and because 
you know, this the New York Stock Exchange is there and all that stuff. So it gets boom. I mean, it's done, right? And then that's it. Okay. And then so now watch this. Okay. So from that date, if I'm, if I'm right, I'm showing you some possibility that I'm right here. Now watch. Boom. Now Black Tuesday, the biggest stock market crash in history, okay, was on October 29th, 1929. Okay. That's Black Tuesday. Now, boom, watch. When you go go from this and you subtract 88 eight, eight months, 88 eight weeks, 88 eight, eight days, plus another 8 plus 8 days. This is extra over here. Plus 8 plus 8 days. You get to this. 10-29-1929, right here. Stock market crash, the first one, because it's, it's predicting this one in the future. And that's why the, all the 8s. See the three eights, three eights, three eights. It's crazy. Boom. Now and also also stock market crash. This happens to be four twenty seven. Four twenty seven. Ooh, huh, huh. And then if we go to four then let's start from four nineteen, not all the way to four twenty seven, but the first day, let's go backwards. We just need one extra eight. So we got eight eight eight, eight eight eight, eight eight eight, and one extra set of eight days. Boom. And that's the ten twenty nine, nineteen twenty nine, and that's and then, by the way, right here, to match that, um, October is 1 and 0. You can get rid of any 1, 1, 1, 1. <laughs> I didn't put that in here. It's called the Rule of Kalel in, in, um, in um, Freemasonry. You can get rid of any 1 or just take away 1 anytime. Or you can add 1, but I never do that. You can, but you can take away. People will probably think that's cheating. Even though they even say that. It looks like a form of cheating, but it's called the Monad. It's God. He can go, come and go as he pleases and all that stuff. So, so you get rid of one and zeros don't count. So you get rid of October completely. We have two, two is four. Get rid of that nine. Get rid of that nine. You got nineteen, four nineteen right there, and there's four nineteen. See, that's what it's showing. It's just programming you to four nineteen right here, and it just happens to be this many months, weeks, days from that. It's just insane. Hopefully that makes sense. This is insane. There's no way that could be. If that wasn't it, there's no way. And that's why these guys are eighty eight, eight 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 eight. And seven 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 and six 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 and really I've showed five 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 sons and they just love and four 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 fours. I mean they love they love that. By the way, four 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 is Lucifer and Jesus, and who and that's completely the opposites, right? Lucifer is fighting Jesus. Jesus is fighting Lucifer, and they're both four four four. Is that a coincidence? Nope. Because I'm part of the one four four, so one times forty four is forty four, and Sticky Bo is the forty fourth president. We're both fighting each other. The forty four is fighting the four four. And the four 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 is fine. The four four four, get it? You know, we don't. You know, we get it. So, so now to, to just let this go. Um, thank you for. We got super T and super O, super nuggets. Um, these guys are just think they're super, but all we're gonna do to them is gonna go kablam, kablam. So. <laughs> I want to thank you for helping me blow up these super nuggets, okay, uh, by supporting what I do uh, with, with, you know, prayer. Thank you so much. I just thank you. Everybody who's ever prayed for me and my family and this ministry. And because I get new people all the time that check this out. I get people come to the Lord, uh, mainly through emails. It's it's awesome. Even kids like that are 13 and stuff. I mean, it's it's amazing. So thank you for all your prayers. Um, if you're able to give too, that's always nice. I'm, I, I'm thankful for that. I got PayPal in the description box below and even Zell pay is much better than PayPal. It's easier, everything too. Um, and then also a PO box in there as well. Um, in the description box below. Um, thank you so much. Um, I thank you for commenting, uh, positively. If you give me a funky comment, that's ridiculous or rude. It's going to be gone in two seconds. Don't, don't even waste your time. I will get rid of it in two seconds because this is my house. You come in saying crud in my house is gone. Two seconds. Deleted. Okay, so um, anyway, I just want to thank anybody, anybody who's ever supported, commented well, you know, commented and positively and all that stuff. Just thank you. This is my time to thank people who are given. Also, just, you know, I have a couple steady giver, a few steady givers, and I'm just so thankful for you too. I mean, and everybody who gives, uh, there's so many people that give, you know, here and there. Some people that just give once. I mean, everybody, I just, this just, I thank you. I did from the bottom of my heart. It's just completely motivated to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, uh, you know, I never asked for this kind of a life. <laughs> I mean, it's a blessing in different ways, but it's also, you can't plan for anything and hardly anything. So it just comes when it comes and all that. It's, that's kind of difficult and everything. And people sometimes you'll do something and then there's nothing that comes in until the next time. Or, I mean, it's crazy. So, but anyway, I, my main point in this is just saying thank you. Because I want opportunity. I mean, God will provide no matter what. And he will inspire different people. And if you're one of those people, then you are one of those people. Thank you. I mean, um, great. Awesome. If you want to be part of this and, you know, and warn people and, you know, be a part of, uh, you know, even um, harvesting people and stuff like that too, which happens for me all the time. So that's awesome too. So it's just a, it's just a blessing all, all the way around. Of course, there are trials and things. I have people, things and things uh, things after me and stuff like that at times but overall jesus is more is bigger more powerful and i don't think about any of that stuff i just think about him being more powerful and more awesome and more great and greater more great <laughs> yeah being greater and everything else so um god thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you in jesus name thank you god bless you all that have said said or done anything positive to this ministry or my family in jesus name so i'll leave it at that and this is um, exalted lamb one over and out.